2015. Thank you, Siak. Very good. Okay. Will you guys please write, I can. I can. I can. Translate. A shape. A given. Distance. Thank you. That's all we're doing is translating a shape a given distance. Uh, we're on problem number four if you're not on the right side. Okay? Will you look at the rule right there? The, the, the computer geek rule, I mean the wonder, com computer smart person rule. Oh, you got it on the digit. I was like, what? So, X minus 7, what does that mean? X minus 7. Go down Does that mean go down 7, or does it mean go left 7? Left 7. Go down 7. Okay, are you sure? Here's X. Okay. 7 to the left. You're right. Would y'all move them 7 to the left? Okay, so now I've got M prime, L prime. Do you remember that? It says X minus 7. So yes, to the left. Okay. Do you get why it's left? Because you're ten and left, ten and left, I don't know. Okay. Are you with me? Okay. You can start writing any time. Okay. So now we can connect the dots, right? And we translated it. Oh my gosh, this is a T. And it kind of looks three D. D. Right? Oh, no, it does does actually. Okay. Yes, it does. Oh, Whoa. Wait, wait. We forgot. We forgot why. No, we didn't. Look up that. Why is zero? It's nothing. Why is just why? Yeah. Why? 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 It says why, why, why. It only says why, right? Yeah, why. It says why, is why. Why so, does why say why? So right here it says why. So that means just keep it. Here you go. Okay. All right. So now we got to find some slopes. Slopes. No. Look at M, look at N, M, N. NLP. Who's got the slope of MN? WX. Slope of MN is 1 over 6. Let's prove it. Okay, it goes up 1. Why don't you ever start on 1? Why do you start on 4? It goes over 6. Because I just copied these. Okay. Who did that maxing, the reflection? I'll show you in a minute. Okay? So wait. Okay, go ahead. What? Would it be negative? Which one? The M with the little comma thingy. Well, there they are. There's M prime, N prime, there's M, N. So they're equal? Sure. Yeah. Okay. How about N, O, guys? Does anyone remember this one? No, I don't know how to do it. Oh, it's cost it. No, I'm just kidding. It's a vertical line. Does anyone remember the slope of a vertical line? It's not zero. It's not one. It's no solution. It's undefined. Do you remember undefined? No. Gosh, that was forever ago that I showed you that. See the see the N? See the vertical line? Okay. So they're both undefined, guys. So it's it's kind of like the back of my head where my mama left me in the crib for so long. It, it gave me a flat head. So my mama didn't love me, I think, as much as my brother. 
Kids are checking for flatheads. Are your brothers as tall as you? Mr. Man. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Down one over six. No. Okay, last two. ML and ML prime. Undefined, right? We do have a Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's write a, a, a geek rule for, sorry, I mean a smart person rule. <laughs> a geek rule? That's for. It's X, triple plus X, now, yeah, never mind. No, keep going, Don. What? Don, Don will be X cross three. Okay, so let's let's look at it for a minute. If you know it, hold off for a sec. How do you get from here to here? Over something, down something. Down eight, right? Just kidding. I heard over three, down five. Okay. Okay, how how do I write that? It would be x plus. Just kidding. Should I say it? X plus three, and then y minus three. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Why would it be three over four? Because oh, it's X and Y. Right? Uh, no, no, no. It's an awesome question. See, <laughs> kids around the world confuse plotting a point with slope. Around the world. Around the world. Everywhere. Doesn't matter where you go. Doesn't matter where you go. They mess that up. Parents alike too. I bet your parents would mess this up too. Okay. Hey, what's the slope of a horizontal line like this? Zero slope. Zero slope. Undefined. Undefined is here. Zero slope is. Okay. C A is a zero slope. So you can just write zero. Uh, you can just write zero. Oh, you can just write zero? Well, if you write the Z, look what you can do with the Z, right? Oh, my. Interesting. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's like a devil. What are you trying to do? He is the devil. That looks like the devil? It does. I know. Oh, my wow. That looks like, wow, you guys have awesome imaginations. That's why you're going to succeed so well in life. Yeah. <laughs> question. Okay. Oh, but I have to do it, so. I have a question on what they wrote. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. We're recording. If it's negative 5 um, over negative 2, why don't they just write negative 5 over 2? Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So they could have written, could they have written 5 over 2? So these could have just been 5 over 2. Let's prove that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 2. Right? Okay. Or, please let me teach. Or, they did negative 5 over negative 2, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 back 2. Did that still take you there? Georgie, will you put that away? Thank you. So either way, it works, right, guys? Who's got another question on those numbers? Are you happy with them? Over negative two? Is WX right? No. I did it too. Go ahead. Casey. I actually had a question about YW. YW, go ahead. YW is right... Where is white? Oh, right here. <laughs> that would be one, two, three over negative two. You're right. Thank you. Just, just change it. It's not a big deal. It's okay. Okay, there's one more complaint. Okay, go ahead, complaint. Um, if you have one negative, wouldn't they both be negative? No. No? Okay, no, no. Never mind. So, are those right or wrong? I don't know if WX is right. Did anyone say it's right? WX is not right. They're all positive, right? Because they're all moving up. So, rise to. Wait, wait, no, wait. Run four. Yeah. So is it two over negative four? No. <laughs> so it's just two over four. Can you simplify it though? Like one simplify it to one half. One half. One half. One half, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last thing to look at, you guys. Shh. Are is it is the rule correct? Is X staying the same? Yeah. What does Y do? Plus four. That is totally right. Okay. Raise your hand if you know. If you know A. Okay, I'm going to call on people. Josh, give me A, please. The coordinates of A. Josh, in a set. Negative six two. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Just kidding. Yeah, that's right. Good job, Josh. <laughs> a prime. I'm gonna pick on someone in just ten seconds. You better know it. Put your hand down. I'm gonna call on random people now. I 
Okay. Give me a prime, please. Donovan. Madison. Ah, six two. Do you guys agree with Madison? Yes. Okay. Now I would like you to look at the two. The pre-image and the image. What do you notice? Very good. Let's double. Let's make sure our rule stays. Shh, butters, give me your attention. Shh. Okay. Uh, point B. Think, Michelle. Would you give us point B, the coordinates? Oh of point B. Put it away. Point B, how far to the left is it? Good. How high up is it? Good. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, now I want B prime, please. And hopefully you're noticing the rule. Jordan, I need your attention, so if I call on you, you're ready. Okay. Let's go with... Put your hand on. I get to call on people. Okay. Okay. Nicolina, give me B prime, please. You guys agree with Nicolina? Yes. Okay. And C prime. Or C, I mean. C, will you tell me, Jerry, now? You guys agree? She had to give me the other one without any having time to do that. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So... Could you write a rule now by looking at this? <laughs> Let's write it. Here we go. <coughs> rule. We'll go back. So XY, given any point XY, what is the rule that we do to X and to Y? Who knows what we do? To X and Y here, Alex, I need your attention. I'm sorry. Stop. So X and X, what happens to X? Raise your hand when you think you know. I like the word I just heard. Opposite. I guess we don't need to call it. Negative X. Good job. Sorry, I should call it opposite X. Opposite. Opposite X. That means opposite. Awesome. Zach. I know an equation, though. You know an equation. X plus negative 2X. What? How did you get that? Because negative 6 plus negative 2 is positive 12, and negative 6 plus 12 is positive 6. What's the crap? I'm confused. 